Howdy folks, we're working on our 1984 Bluebird Wonder Lodge today. And if you can't tell by the way this thing is sitting right now, let's see if I can swap this over here. So we have it jacked up. We did this when we came in because we had a problem with one of our airbags blew out on our trip coming home. Luckily it was right here in our neighborhood just as we were getting home. So I've already picked it up and got it on jack stands. I drove it up on these blocks I have to get it up while the suspension was paired up mostly. Uh, so yeah. We, got it up in the air so then that way we can pick up the axle and get the airbags changed out. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Alright, we're going to pick up this front axle. I use, this, this is a three ton floor jack, obviously, so the side of it. I'm just going to use this to get the, the blocks out from under the wheels. Because what I want to do is drop the wheels down, or the, yeah, the, the tires down so I have more room to get the airbags out and get the new ones in. I think I got enough room there. Pull this. So we're going to pull the boards out. Sorry, folks. Trying to work and hold this thing. So now we can drop this back down. So then we'll have a lot of room between the airbag perches underneath. The shocks may actually hold this thing up in the air. I'm not sure. I'll have to see when we get under here. Yeah, I think the shocks are holding it. Holding it up now. Actually, what you can hear, I think it might be the airbag. So I think it is dropping. Slowly. Yeah, it looks like it's going down to the ground now. So it's just the airbags where the leveling valve now is letting the air back in. Yeah, and they're almost on the ground now because the jack is off of there. All right, so we're taking off. This is the front airbags. You got to get a little short. I use my ratcheting wrench to get in this little side hole. to this nut. It sits up on top of these parallel arms for the suspension. I don't know if I can get back far enough to get that whole thing in the view. But yeah, those parallel arms sit there. There's some room in the front, but they got a little gusset plate there that kind of in the way too, so you just come in from this side. I 
once you get it loose enough, you can usually get it, your hand in there and get the rest of the way off. It's still kind of tight. Unfortunately, even the tight reach won't fit in, fit in there. Sorry for the bouncy video. Trying to hold this thing in. Film. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Alright, so we got that off. So that one's loose on the bottom. I got I did the back ones already. Alright, so I had to I jacked up the axle a little bit to give me a little more room in here. Um Yeah, this one has a teeny little longer stud. So, I'll try to, I don't know if you can see that. I don't, where that, where that is the camera? There it is. Here. Loose enough where you can get it out with your fingers. Oh, there it goes. That one's pulling up. So. Alright, so that's off of there. So that's all the bottom ones, and we'll go up top and get the top bolts. That's right, trying out my new Milwaukee ratchet. These are probably pretty tight. Oh, I'm pushing on the battery, which is a good thing. Not a good thing. Give me a three-quarter. All right, so I had to break out these channel locks. These things are a little bit tight, and they're already... They're brass. I think they're already rounding off. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. Something does not want to come out of there. Oh. Brass is ripping. <laughs> I did. Fuck. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Fuck. Usually these things do good, but the problem is the brass is so soft, it's just crumbling it. Oh, there we are. Locks in. 
hope. I want it. So I got my new little three quarter or three eighths impact. Does a good little job. M12. It's a lot lighter weight. such a hard time focusing today. Those nitbacks work pretty good, but because this brass is so soft, I oh, see. So yeah. I should really crank down on this thing. Give me the big socket, the inch and an eighth or whatever. Socket. I asked for it like an hour ago. because of the issue last time. Alright, 
So that's that side. We'll get to the other side next. Just gonna go right for the vice grips. So, a little awkward to work. There we go. That one's moving. Now we got it moving. Let's see if we can keep it moving with the ratcheting wrench. Yeah, there we go. These would look like we might be able to salvage these. And the way these are coming out, I think about see if I got straight enough to go in here. Those are all. So now we'll zip the nuts off here. We had a little impact. This one's a little tight. We have that tight reach. Baby tie reach will work for this. big boy to do that these are inch and a sixteenth these flat wash flat little baby nuts we gotta use the big one for those if you haven't seen my other videos these are the little super steer motion control units and then there's the oh, it's backwards why is it backwards oh it's because it's the reverse camera 
or maybe it's just backwards when I see it. We'll see. Maybe you can read that. Maybe you can't. Maybe it's backwards. Those super steer units help with the bouncing of the bus. All right, let me have the big impact in the tight reach. Thin nuts. Fair pain. Mark a little bit of a tight spot here. There we go. the bear bags out so now we're gonna get ready for the new ones so I put air in each one of these air bags and it doesn't seem like any one of them is leaking so I'm not a hundred percent sure what happened um, it sure sounded like something went off we got a little helper here what are you doing pup what are you after huh but anyways, yeah, so I think uh, I'm not 100% sure what happened, but we're going to go ahead and replace them and then air the system back up and then we'll check for air leaks elsewhere. So we got new airbags and I'm actually going to go with a little larger airbag. Um, supposed to make the ride make the ride a little better, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of modifications for those but we'll get into that in a little bit
So this is actually a weekend later. I have I didn't get a chance to do this close out video, but I got the new airbags in there. You can see them; they fit pretty good. That one is pretty close to the shock, but it, I think it's going to be all right. But, uh, I'm going to go take it for a drive tomorrow, so hopefully we'll see how well it does, and. Uh, and we'll do a short video of that as well. That's about it for right now. Thanks for watching.